love a good book. My imagination goes wild when I think of all the adventures that my favorite stories take me on. But there's one book that is completely true. It's the Bible. The Bible tells us about Jesus, God's own son. It tells us how Jesus taught us how to love God and how to love others. In fact, Jesus used stories or parables to teach us really important things. How to love all people, how to treat others, how to share what we have, so many important things. When I read my Bible now, I can still learn from the greatest teacher ever, Jesus. I'm gonna open my Bible and see what Jesus wants to tell me today. Amazing. my sheep. Do you guys have a favorite fluffy friend? Wave your hand up high if you do. Wow, lots of you like to cuddle with your fluffy friends. I like this book because it's soft and cuddly like a fluffy friend. And it has a story. We can learn so much from stories. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Found a good book, have you? Hi, Ollie. I'm reading a story to my favorite fluffy sheep. Stories are wonderful. Who? Who? Jesus even told stories, too. Listen to this one. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. This bag 
bag is heavy. Oh, hey friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. Look at how much mail I have today. There must be almost 100 letters in here. And it's my job to deliver every one. Which reminds me of a story Jesus told. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Jesus told us this story to teach us something very important. And it starts with a shepherd. Oh, there's the shepherd. Do you know what a shepherd does? He takes care of animals. But what kind of animals? Listen. Hear that? What kind of animal is it? A sheep. Yes, you're right. Aw, it's a cute little sheep, isn't it? Okay, so Jesus said, pretend you were a shepherd and you had a... Uh -oh. Do you hear that? Whoa, there are sheep everywhere. Wow, great job, shepherd. So Jesus said, pretend you're a shepherd who has 100 sheep. Wow, that is a lot of sheep. Look, he's counting them now. Oh, he's up to 95. Let's see if we can help the shepherd count the rest of the sheep. Count with me. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Uh, wait, where's number 100? Where's the last sheep? Does anyone see it? Oh no, it's lost. What should the shepherd do? Stay with the 99 sheep he has, or go find the one that's missing? Well, Jesus said the shepherd loved all his sheep. Each one mattered to him. So the shepherd went out to find the one missing sheep. Let's help the shepherd find his sheep. When you see the sheep, yell, sheep! Do you see the sheep? No, not yet. Wait, is that the sheep? No, you're right. It's a camel. Hmm. Where could he be? Sheep! Sheep, where are you? You see it? Yes, there it is! The shepherd was so happy to find his sheep that he picked it right up and put it on his shoulders and carried it all the way home. Yay, the lost sheep is found! Everyone cheer! Jesus told us this story to teach us something very important. You matter to God. Yes, you are important to God. If you were a lost sheep, God would go out and look for you. And when he found you, he would be so happy he would celebrate. You are important to God. Say that with me. I am important to God. I am important to God. Yes, you are. I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Oh, hey, Ollie, tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. You are important to God. He loves you so much. Hoo, hoo. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Jesus told us a story to teach us that we're important to God and he loves us so much. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Okay, Sammy, let's finish this story. Sammy? Sammy? Sammy, what are you doing? It's time to read. Well, me and Sammy are gonna finish the story. See you next time. Bye!
the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. 